Peace be upon you everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we embark on a journey to explore an essential aspect of Islamic teachings, the seven major sins. Join us as we delve into each of these sins, their significance, and the profound impact they have on one's spiritual journey. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our Islamic content. Shirk The gravest sin in Islam Shirk refers to attributing partners or equals to God. This includes idol worship, seeking intercession from beings other than God, and denying God's oneness as Muslims. We must maintain absolute monotheism in our beliefs and actions. Engaging in witchcraft, known as seer, is strictly prohibited in Islam. This practice involves manipulating supernatural forces to achieve personal gain or harm others. Witchcraft undermines faith in Allah's power and distorts the balance between the seen and unseen realms. The unjust taking of a human life is another major sin in Islam. Murder not only violates the sanctity of life, but also disrupts the social order and inflicts irreparable harm on families and communities. Islam emphasizes the value of every soul and prohibits the shedding of innocent blood. Engaging in usury or interest-based transactions is another major sin in Islam. Such practices exploit the vulnerable and lead to economic inequality instead. Muslims are encouraged to engage in fair and ethical business dealings that promote mutual benefit and justice. Exploiting orphans' wealth is categorically forbidden in Islam and is deemed one of the major sins. This includes embezzling, misappropriating, or unjustly using the assets entrusted to the care of orphans for personal gain. As Muslims, we have a moral obligation to protect the rights and interests of orphans, including their financial assets. This entails managing their wealth with honesty, transparency, and integrity as if it were our own. Fleeing from the battlefield refers to the act of abandoning one's duty as a soldier during times of war or conflict. It entails deserting the ranks and retreating from the battlefield, thereby betraying the trust and responsibility placed upon the individual. Making false accusations of adultery against a chaste person is condemned in Islam. It tarnishes one's reputation and undermines the principles of justice and fairness. Muslims are urged to speak the truth and refrain from spreading falsehood. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.